Hello and welcome to the Results of Ronnie podcast series. My name is Ronnie Walker, Master Coach of Exceptional Dating, Relationships, and Sex. And today we're going to cover something the ladies have been asking me consistently over the past 30 years. But first, let me paint a picture. You're out having an incredible dinner with Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome, and someone you feel that has potential to be Mr. Right in your life. The dinner tastes incredible. His beverage of choice for you is exceptional. And the conversation is witty, engaging, and you also find out he has a fine sense of humor, a sense of purpose, and you really are feeling this, gentlemen. And yet you're still wondering, is there something else that he's could be thinking about that he's not expressing or is it too soon to express well truth is sometimes you will get to find that out and sometimes not but for those of you who are going on date after date after date and realize that you're still left in the dark in terms of what men are really thinking while they're dating I hope that what I share with you today could be of some help, enlightenment, solace in terms of what it is that men think of. Now I know there are spaces where you're told that men are pretty simple and easy and they really only sometimes think about one thing and their one track mind, but we're not going to talk about those men because of course we know those men do exist. What we're going to talk about are those men who are very, very serious about who they're looking for. They have a sense of purpose, and they know that they don't have time to waste when it comes to the dating energy. But what do those men actually think about? And maybe it's possible that what you think they think about, they really aren't thinking about. Or, at the very least, out of the last 20 things you think that they think about, You've only got five right. So I hope with my many years of experience and the conversations that I've had with men over the years, as well as recently, because now many believe we have a brand new dating space and energy, different mindsets in dating, that I'm going to cover what I feel is going to be of some help to you. So why do this podcast episode, when it may have already been discussed millions of times. Well, you know, I really thought about this, and somehow, if you really listen and look, online and offline, you get the feeling that men and women are not connecting. And while there are many theories as to why that is, and some people believe that is no theory, these are just facts, What I'm attempting to do is communicate what I feel that can be of some help to you because of the men that I speak to. And as a man, of course, I think these same things in many spaces. Another reason is that men and women listen differently. And no matter how many people want to change this, it won't. You know, it's... Listen to me. It's futile ladies to try to get men to listen like women. And women listen like men. And this is constant battle. We hear things differently. Women hear things differently. And so what we have to get better at is being able to communicate with each other. Now we do know there's some things, of course, we hear the same. But yet... What tends to happen is we bring our past into these listening parties or words that may trigger us and that a person says something that we take totally out of context and nuance and we end up in a space that we really don't want to be in as a couple. Another reason is that mindsets have changed. And while the debate continues for better or for worse, well, here we are. And I think it's a subject worth revisiting. But before I start, 
let me make clear who this podcast is for. See, to me, this podcast is for women that are truly sure they want a relationship and are serious about knowing what some men are looking for. You must be truly interested in knowing what he's looking for and be intentional in what he's thinking. He has a right to want what he wants, preferences, what his thoughts are. You don't have to like them. You don't have to accept them. If they're for you, great. If they're not for you, great. The men I'm speaking about are men that are on their purpose. They know what they want in life, career, business, and the person they want to spend the rest of their life with. And if you're not in tune to that, then I can assure you, you're just wasting your time. This podcast is not for serial daters. The women that date for free meals or because they're bored and they want to spill some time and they don't want to go up with the girlfriend, so they want to spend some time with some male company. This is not for you. This is for women, again, that are about intentional dating. Now, at this point, there are some women who don't believe that such women exist. And I can assure you, ladies, there are some women who will, in some spaces, admit that that's what they do. They do waste men's time and money. And men have now become wise to this. Hell, there are even studies out there now that show that. I can't remember this percentage, but it doesn't matter. If it's only 1%, it's still too many. Men, like women, do not like their time and money wasted. So this podcast, again, I repeat, or for the women that have intentions and pure intentions in their dating. This podcast is for women that accept that it's not only about them. It's more than one person in this space. Now I can go on and create a much longer list, but I think you get the gist of what I'm expressing here. So, without further ado, what are men thinking while dating? Well, now, while I'm listing this in a particular order, there really is no set order to this. Just take some time, breathe. If you want a pen and paper, feel free to do it as well, or replay the broadcast. And just take some time to step back and just listen and know that I'm not trying to say that this is something set in stone, but again, these are things that I've heard from men in discussions personally, professionally, over the almost 30 years of me doing this. I can definitely wholeheartedly co-sign on this because as a man, I've thought the same things. So again, just know that I'm sharing this in hopes of helping some of the women that are out there that are genuinely challenged in what men are thinking and what they can better do to understand where we are. When you understand that a relationship is about two people and possibly more if you have children and don't forget family members that are also part of this future that you're looking to build together. So one, the first thing a man is probably thinking is, can I trust you? Why? Well, you would think that's pretty obvious, but what you may be trying to trust him with is different than what he's trusting you with. Now, we can all agree that in many spaces that there are things that men hold on to privately longer than a lot of women would like them to. And for whatever the reason is, give him that space and allow him to share that with you in time. Now, mind you, there are some things you definitely want to know in a sufficient amount of time. However, he wants to know that this is a space that he can trust you in. Is it something that 
you're going to throw back in his face in the heat of an argument or when you're feeling quote unquote petty. See, that can cause kinks in a relationship that sometimes you may not be able to come back from. He wants to know if he can trust you with his information, with his vulnerabilities, with his challenges that he may be working through. He also wants to know if you're loyal. Again, you would think that's obvious, but these are the thoughts that go through his mind. And of course, ladies, I'm sure you're wondering that as well, but we're not talking about what you're thinking about. We're talking about what men are thinking about. They really want a woman that is loyal to him as a man, to the goals that he set. That includes you and the family that you may already have or that you too are looking to build. Loyalty is very, very important to a man. And again, we're talking about men that are on their purpose and know who they are. And to help you further understand what that means to him, ask him what has to happen in order for him to feel assured that you are loyal to him. It's the same thing with trust. Yeah, we use these words, but really, what does that mean? And we only don't we, we don't only want to go by what we define it as. Dial it down, ask them, hey, you know, what does trust mean to you? What what does trust look like for what has to happen in order for you to feel that there's trust, a relationship. Now, for those of you who are looking to have a family, he's questioning whether you're going to be a good mother to the children. So there are things that he's going to look in terms of your actions, your worldview, your spiritual beliefs, political beliefs, how you were raised. Is that something that's transferable or that's something that he wants um, transferred to the child that you two are having? But what about those who are a mother or you have children? Well, see, he also wants to know and is thinking, are you a good mother to the children that you have? He also wants to know the relationship you have with their father. Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Not existent? And why is that? Now, ladies, as I go through these questions, there's nothing wrong with being proactive. And many are. They really have no problem sharing what or they're sharing or being proactive in terms of the questions that they feel he's going to ask. And that's great. I commend you on that. But I can assure you at some point or other, he's thinking these things if you're looking to have children with him or if you already have children. He's also thinking, what are your relationship with your parents? Is it a healthy one? Tumultuous one? Even if the parents are no longer here, what was life with them like? What was your upbringing? Because we do know that there are things that may come out in relationship based on the relationship you had with your parents. So he's really thinking that. He also wants to know, and is thinking, are you secure in your femininity? Now, this is something of a hot topic as of late, and I, I really, well, we can talk about it as to why that is, but what do I mean by that? Well, see, the men, we want to know that you truly are happy being a woman. We want to know what that means to you, because in some spaces, there are women who think that femininity is weak. Is this kind of 
pick me attitude. Don't even get me started on that. But they really want to know, are you secure in that space? And are you looking at it, and do you feel and believe that is the powerful, beautiful force that you've been given? A man who is secure in his masculinity and his purpose is extremely attractive to a woman who is secure in their femininity. And I can prove that six days a week, twice on Sunday. A man loves a feminine woman, and a woman who's secure in that. He also wants to know, he's asking, is this someone I'm going to have to compete against after I'm competing against the big bad world that's out there outside of my doors every day? Or am I going to come home to a peaceful house, peaceful space, peaceful energy? Or am I going to be in a consistent battle and challenge with everything or decision that I make? Now, again, as we dial that down, this is a conversation that you're going to have in terms of is she working? Is she not going to be working? Does she have a business? What does it look like? Because, of course, ladies, you want to make sure that he's bringing you peace as well. But again, I want to stay focused on what he's thinking. This is what he's thinking. He does not want to go out there and compete against the world every day and come home to yet another competition. I can assure you the lust will be there. There may be some excitement in the beginning, but long term, it's going to wear itself very thin. And you can count on you're going to end up calling me for coaching. He also thinking, can I grow with her financially, mentally, spiritually, and physically? You heard me say a million times that life and relationship is about growth. And if you're not growing, you're dying. So, am I going to grow with this woman? And what does that look like? And I can assure you he has these questions in mind. That he will ask. And it comes across as just simple conversation. But he's listening. And yes, he's thinking. He's thinking very deeply about this. Because he's not in it to what he feels may be a future mistake. He's in this for the long term. For the forever after. Even if you think this is just some fantasy of we're not talking about anything being perfect but we are talking about there is work growth does require work and this all goes back to again the competition he doesn't want to compete he wants someone who knows that you trust in his leadership you trust his guidance you social support you may share some input, but in the end, you both are growing. He's also thinking, are you taking care of your health? Are you someone who exercises? Where are your eating habits? Regular visits to the doctor? Then make sure you're top of your body. These are things that men are thinking, believe it or not. He's also thinking, can I count on her? Because life, as we know, is not perfect. And so, in the space, and God forbid something goes left, are you someone who's going to be there? Are you some fair-weather woman? How to deal with conflict resolution? There are things that may happen. He knows he's going to be there for you, and he wants to be sure that you can be there for him. It's just emotionally. 
We're not talking about financial resources of taking care of him or things of this nature. We want to know, are you someone who can speak life? And there are those challenges that may just take a little wind out of the sail. And as men, we're not immortal, even though sometimes we carry on as if we are. He's also thinking, hmm, how healthy are the relationships with her girlfriends? Do you have support of girlfriends? Do you have friends that are always trying to, in some space, bring you down? Do you have, quote unquote, those haters in your relationships? with your girlfriends. He wants, he's really curious about that. He wants to know that are you the type of person that should you both have challenges, are you running to him or are you running to them? This is important to a man. He wants to know that whatever you two are going through goes on between you two. Very, very important. He's also curious as to whether or not you depend on external validation on a consistent basis, as opposed to appreciating his appreciation for you. What's more important to you? Especially in the world of social media, you find women all the time that it seems as though that women in relationships and married care more about the validation of others who they hardly know as opposed to the validation from their man. Now, if that doesn't apply to you, then don't feel any way about it. But yes, there are women. Because what tends to happen is that that validation and all it takes is that one instant message and the whole relationship goes left. One bad argument or disagreement, and instead of working out with him, you shoot that external validation. And if there's one thing, a man with a bad intention who's out there in the internet universe knows, is that it's all about timing. And if he can catch you at the right time, when you should be working on that healing with your partner, he's there to make you feel as though. And next thing you know, you're in breakup season or you're in divorce court. Again, we're getting back to loyalty. And are you secure in who you are as a woman? And in your relationship and the relationship that you have with him. He's also thinking that she has a relationship with God. Now, what is her spiritual beliefs? Do you believe in prayer? Now, of course, this may not be the case of all men. There are men who do have a very solid, what they feel is a very solid and healthy relationship with their maker. And this is the type of woman that they're looking for. A woman that has a secure relationship with their maker. He's also thinking, what role does she want to play in the relationship. What do I mean by that? Well, women, at least, and again, let me say some, tend to take the lead in a relationship. And, you know, in a lot of ways, well, in some ways, they really don't intend to be masculine a man. But when I said earlier about you securing your femininity, and there is strength in that, but being secure and making sure that you are allowing a man to be a man. You don't take his masculinity as toxic or oppressive or the, the dramatic spaces that certain women take masculinity to be. Somehow femininity is weak, masculinity is toxic, and somehow there's some space in between that they've come up with some name or whatever. I, I can go on and on. But my point is, what role do you want to play? Are you going to trust him? 
believe in him? Are you going to allow him to lead? Do you want to be to lead? And again, if that's the type of relationship that you're working towards, then just make that known. I'm not going to sit here and say whether that's a bad or good thing. I'll let you decide that. I'll let him decide that. But be clear on where you choose to be in the relationship. You know, do you have a problem with a man being secure in masculinity? Now, some women say no. But you'd surprise how after further listening to some women, they really do. And that could be from something they've read, some experiences they had in bringing up, that growing up, or past relationships. Allow a man to be a man. And in this case, allow a healthy man to be a healthy man and secure his masculinity. And the last point, are you certain in what you're looking for in a mate? What a man wants to know and what he is thinking, are you sure that he is the type of man you are looking for? And not suffer from some greener grass syndrome where, yeah, this is great, but I still got one foot out the door just in case something else comes along. And ladies, this is very, very serious because you can find yourself in a world of sticking your foot into something that is not going to help you in the long run. So again, this, this calls for you to be sure of who you are. You've done the work. You feel safe for going out in this new dating space. And that the man you are looking to entertain is someone that you've really taken the time to study and be sure about. Because we are talking about the rest of your life. So in this space where you are qualifying him, I can assure you a man about himself and in his purpose is qualifying you. And you either qualify or you don't. But make no mistake about it. There are things that he's thinking. And I've just listed a few. So at the very least, I hope this has provided some form of value to you as you go out there and dating. And this is for you, great. If it's not for you, great. But just be real clear that there's a lot that goes on in the mind of a man. And he's not as simple and one-track minded as many would have you believe. We are focused. And in some spaces, we are simple and easy. But make no mistake about it, we are talking about the rest of our lives as well. And we want to make sure that we're making the right decision. And while we're not in a perfect world, we want to make sure that we lessen the odds of picking wrong, for lack of a better term. I also want to mention that this episode is sponsored by Balance with Diana J. Again, that's Balance with Diana J, a talk show that is, you know, speaks on so many great conversations and subjects, great interviews. I suggest you go to Facebook and look her up. Also, she has a YouTube channel, subscribe. Balance with Anna J. And again, I'm so happy to have her as a sponsor in this season of the Ronnie Walker podcast series. So, with that being said, my name is Ronnie Walker. You can find me on ResultsRonnie.com. That's ResultsRonnie.com. On Instagram, official Ronnie Walker. You can also reach this podcast at MrRelationshipMan.com. I also have a whole website for men and the resources. And that is Mr. Relationship Mancave.com. That's Mr. Relationship Mancave.com. I also now am collaborating with Yashika Foster at Ronnie and Yashika Dating Discussions. So I'm really expanding my reach and trying to meet as, you know, reach out to as many men and women as possible and hoping 
that these years of service that I have to many couples, singles, and relationship transformations, that I can provide some value to you in your growth and search for being a better you and being a better partner in your world of dating and relationships. Again, my name is Ronnie Walker. I'm your master coach of exceptional dating, relationships, and sex. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Reach out and make yourself heard, seen, and if you have any suggestions, I'm open to them. Again, take care. Until next time.